Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Another That Was The Week That Was where I'll look back over the week and see what's been going on with me. Well, it's been a pretty quiet week. Uh, one of the things I was thinking of today of discussing with people was vanilla. Vanilla is a, um, an interesting word. It's become synonymous with bland and uninteresting. We talk about vanilla states, vanilla countries, vanilla supermarkets which generally means that things are all same same and pretty uninteresting uh, vanilla lifestyles, vanilla suburbs. But let's talk about a moment the vanilla pod or the vanilla flavor that we use so much in cooking. Now I'm a big fan of fresh vanilla pods. I should have some here to show you. I've actually got some indoors but I can put up a picture vanilla pod. Vanilla as you know is a flavoring that goes into many things such as ice cream uh, biscuits and I love vanilla don't get me wrong but I think the reason vanilla has become synonymous with uh, with dull and mundane lifestyles is that actually vanilla is overused in cooking it really is one of those products that I see time and time again in recipes and uh, I leave it out frequently because it, it actually a little bit like a like a stock cube in in cooking will add a processed flavor to your food. Um, vanilla in biscuits, vanilla in ice cream. Um, recently I was making uh, some biscuits, I, I didn't film them for YouTube, but they were like a yo-yo biscuit, and uh, they had beautiful um, oatmeal in them, and, uh, and the flavor of oatmeal is one point of biscuit, but it also requested you put vanilla essence into that. And I didn't bother, and these biscuits were delicious. Why? Because people tend to always put vanilla in biscuits, whether they're plain biscuits, uh, sugar cookies, and it's, it's kind of overused. Everything ends up tasting with an essence of vanilla. Um, frequently you'll see milkshakes made, and uh, they'll put vanilla into the milkshake, even if it's a strawberry milkshake, or, or, or uh, um, you'll see uh, um, a cake that's made and they'll say, you know, you're making a plain, simple cake for, for baking, and they want you to put vanilla into it. And I say, no, don't put vanilla into everything you cook. Keep it out, let the flavors come through. Vanilla has a tendency to make things fairly bland and mundane. Um, sure, vanilla ice cream is great. Um, fresh vanilla ice cream with real vanilla pods is wonderful. Uh, vanilla in some biscuits, it's just fantastic. Even vanilla milkshakes are, are, are really great. But if I say anything at all, it's don't always follow the recipe when it asks for vanilla. Try it. Think about what you're, you're making. Vanilla has a tendency to take other flavors and overpower them. It has a tendency to, to, um, to mask the real flavors of, uh, of other foods. So a little bit like olive oil is being constantly used nowadays in cooking uh, as a you know do it in cooking olive oil or drizzle everything with olive oil it's not necessarily always the right way to go um, olive oil in itself is become extremely cliche everything has to have olive oil and it tends to uh, be used in substitute to a lot of the grapeseed oils and uh, vegetable oils that we used to use uh, peanut oils there's some wonderful things and actually um, Olive oil on its own is not always uh, an enhancer. It can destroy the flavor of, of, of some uh, some dressings. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm going off onto an olive oil rant here, and really I'm trying to talk about vanilla. Uh, why am I talking about vanilla? I have no idea. It's uh, just one of the subjects that I'm passionate about. Food and taste and flavors is what I'm passionate about. And, and, uh, and now and again, these talks may go down certain avenues. Maybe somebody will make a comment or I'll bake something that week and it'll make me think. And uh, okay, guys, um, I made a, a raspberry coolie this week. It's uh, like a thick raspberry sauce, absolutely delicious. It'll be featuring in, in one or two of my upcoming recipes. A little, little plane going over the top. Can you hear that? It's lovely and, 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 and sunny. The, today's actually been really nice. It's not too hot. It's just cooling down. We have Easter coming, so uh, I'll be doing some uh, some Easter chocolate uh, recipes. And I want to thank you guys for sticking with me when I have to put up maybe some of the recipes that are from my old channel, which are repeats. And, uh, and, and thank you guys for being patient. Those of you who are new to the channel will not have seen them before, and that's, uh, that's fine. And thank you again for your support.
Do you like this shirt? I don't know. This is quite an old shirt of mine now. I've got so many short sleeve shirts, I should really be getting rid of some of them. I had a request this week for uh, custard tarts, and I love custard tarts. Now, custard is vanilla, and, and a good reason to use vanilla. But uh, one of uh, my subscribers, uh, Ange, Fit Ange from Melbourne, she actually uh, said to me, do I have a, a good recipe for custard tarts? That is one of my weaknesses, so I shall be doing a video. I love requests. Now, there are two types of custard tarts that I particularly like, the traditional type with the short cross pastry, and also, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Portuguese custard tarts, which are, which are done with a puff pastry and a really dark, toasted, almost black uh, custard topping. They are fantastic, and I'll be doing a recipe for those, both of those in, in, in the near future. Now, I know the TWTWTW format um, that I'm doing at the moment may not be that popular on this cooking channel, and I'm happy to hear whether I should move this over to um, my uh, vlogging channel or whether I should keep it on here, but at the moment I'm happy to put it on here, and I've had some fairly good response from it, so uh, thanks for that, guys. There are some of you that may like to know a little bit more about uh, the self-sufficient life that uh, my family used to lead. Uh, we, we had a, our own little farm and we used to produce all our own, own uh, vegetables and, and, and food. So um, more of that will come over the next year. Keep a lookout for a series of uh, yogurt or yogurt as uh, our friends in the USA. So you keep a lookout for a series of recipes that are coming on that. Guys, thanks for joining me on That Was The Week That Was. Uh, it's been great just having a chat with you guys. Next week I have got a sticky treacle loaf that's going up and I'm sure a few other video ideas that we've got uh, coming up. So uh, stay tuned for that. Be good. I will see you in the next video.